Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. This is my hometown, a quaint, safe little town in Virginia, Gloucester, Virginia, near Williamsburg and for many years depended on historical and tourism business. Now since COVID, all businesses have been hit hard. We have the prettiest course circle in all of America and it's one of the oldest towns established in 1650 or so around that time frame well at least the, the plantations were there then not much of town but i think the town was established in the 1700s early this is our beautiful history museum hardly ever open but it is very nice not much going on in gloucester oh wait a minute what's what's this this little clip is from the oregon state university robot delivery system and it delivers food all over campus you can order it and it'll deliver it at certain spots bag lunches but the restaurants restaurants can use this to deliver food within the city especially in a little town like ours this is going to be revolutionary now how can you get involved in this industry well one of the companies that's got a lot of head start is the little little robot that goes and vacuums your floors my robot but i think a good investment is the batteries because the telson needs the batteries and so does this little guy here. I think in five years, you'll see these guys all over the place. Check out this whole video on Oregon State University. There's several out there, and there. this is an interesting concept. This is a free program called Trading View, and it has a lot of features. You can have a watch list, and you can have indicators to tell you when to buy and sell. And you do a scalp screener back testing if you want it's really really a good product especially if you're a beginner getting started this is is the one you can get started with and share some of your charts this is lithium on the daily chart so each one of these little green things little red things are days and then this is looks like about 30 days and here's the zigzag and if you could buy here and hold the here that would have been a great trade now this is not an indicator it uses it looks at the future and can plot these lines exactly right and you don't have that ability it looks to the future to plot these lines so there's no indicator like this that's perfect like this but it does give you a good visual this is the macd which a lot of people use the stochastic rsi and the rsi and you see a, a great big gap right here and usually when they see a gap like that they tend to fill at some point in time again you had a zig zigzag and it, now it looks like it's coming down if you believe in a 50 percent retracement it's almost there i drew that line a little bit crooked but almost there and a lot of times when it hits that 50 percent it retraces and goes back up and continues on the trend this is a very long trend so it retraces continues the continuation all the indicators the macd stochastic rsi which is in the overbought now it's going down overbought condition for the RSI they're all pointing down because it's near that 50% retracement and because now the RSI is in the oversold position and the stochastic is almost and they have no indication here for the MACD and this has been pretty drastic so what I think is it's going to revert back to the mean which is somewhere there that's the mean you may have another day the downside tomorrow's Friday and you may want to wait till Monday to kind of see how things shape up. But I think this is going to revert back and continue back up. So in the morning, I'm going to buy at around 1850 or 18, whatever I can get in. See how tomorrow shapes up. I'm going to check one more thing before we go. LTHM is currently trading at 1890s, as we've seen. I'm going to try to get it for 1850 in the morning. They say an average goal is 2020. So we're looking for a dollar or two, moderate buy, six rating. That's not bad. Hedge fund, we want to see that. That's got a good. Fundamentals are not so good. And we've seen the MACD is not showing a buy, but and it's the last two days it's been a drop of like a rock. And the company is currently not profitable. Be careful. But it is working with Telsa. And Telsa is going to be an electric, electric vehicle company of the future. And selling worldwide. They're the leader. They're ahead of it, all the game for everybody. So, the government offices are up in here. And the restaurants are down in the, in this area. here, Down below here, this way, that way. And the government people 
can order their lunch from the restaurants and have it delivered by this little guy. Can you see how this could improve a small town, improve the restaurants, improve business? You can use this for any kind of business. I, I just said restaurants and delivery, but you could do it for any kind of delivery in a small town or big. This thing can go up steps. It can go in the elevator. It can bring it right to your desk. This is a, an innovation that small towns and big towns can capitalize on. I believe it's coming to a town near you in less than five years. So let's make a bet. I'm betting on the batteries inside this little little tanker. And at a future time, I'll look at iRobot. What do you think? Is lithium going to reverse itself, continuing its uptrend? Or is this a dropping knife, falling knife, and you're supposed to never catch one? Make your own trading decisions. Do your own due diligence. Don't follow this guy like this guy did because he's not going to be happy. You're going to make your own decisions. Look at some lithium trades. Other Others are... Pick your own out. Take advice from this guy as far as learn from him. But don't don't believe or take advice on what, it's, what he's saying. Make your own decisions. Do your own due diligence. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I really need the likes. And then and subscribe. Catch you on the flip. Happy trading.